Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, where I'm currently trying to record all of the puzzles from the World Puzzle Federation pack from round three, 2015, so 10 years ago. Um, usually, his, and historically, I'd recorded one or maybe two puzzles from each pack of the World Puzzle Federation, but I looked at this pack and said, I can't pick a puzzle. So I decided, let's see what happens if I do the entire pack and see whether people respond well to it. So we're currently up to classic Sudoku number five. So um, I'm historically not great at classic Sudoku, so we'll see how we go at this one. The numbers are getting up. Now, the entire pack was worth a total of 600 points, and this puzzle was worth 30 of those points. Now, I've been told that the goal was to try and aim for about five points a minute, or at least more than five points a minute if you could. But if you could get five points per minute, that was good. So the goal on this one is to do it in under six minutes. I am not going to do that. I would be surprised if I do this in under 20 minutes. I'm not a speed solver, and I'm trying to explain what I do on camera. So we'll see how we go. So below in the description, you will find a link to this puzzle, as well as to the World Puzzle Federation website, where you'll be able to find in their archive all of the puzzle packs that they have released as part of their competitions. So um, thank you to Ashish Kumar for setting this puzzle. Um, they don't always announce who the creators of the puzzles were, but for this one, this set they did. Um, so let's have a look at classic Sudoku 5. First, the rules, normal Sudoku rules. So into every box, into every row, and into every column, we have to place the digits one to nine without repetition. That's it. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, I am going to call out, and I'm not going to use it, I don't think, that everyone who is watching this who's an expert solver or been in the hobby for more than a year probably recognizes this pattern. 10 years ago, I don't think this was a pattern that was being used, so I'm going to ignore it. I'm not going to try and use that pattern. I imagine people may be able to use that as a shortcut. I'm not going to. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. That's a very advanced solving technique, which I don't think is going to be needed for a 30-point puzzle. So let's see what I can find. I can see sixes are looking into box one, which means six has to go into one of those two places. These, in fact, are six. These digits, because of the one, two, three, four, five, are six, seven, eight, and nine. And the six and the eight can't go there. So this is actually a six, eight pair. And the eight is looking up, making that the six and that the eight, meaning these are seven and nine. And I can use the nine and the seven already placed to resolve them. Excellent. Let's look at these now because this is a quadruple. I know that the seven has to go in one of those two because I can't put it there and the seven is looking down. So this is a seven and I'm always keen to mark a triple. So five, six and eight. Now I can see that the eight can't go here and this eight means that eight can't go here. So this becomes the eight. This is a five, six pair. And the six that I placed means that this is the five and this is the six. We're getting progress. Let's look at the other restricted columns. So I need to put a three in this column, which must go down here. I must put a two in this column, which must go up here. Uh, I must put a nine in this column. So the two nine actually makes this a two nine, which means that I haven't placed a three and an eight, and this becomes a three and an eight. Now this does something quite special, which is um, I've got now got a bunch, the two nine means that these can't be two or nine, otherwise these would be the same digit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These now must be four and five, and the five is looking up, making that the four and that the five. So I'm finding this so far a lot easier than the previous puzzle, which was worth less points. So the one has to go into one of those two. The six, uh, no, the six and the eight doesn't work. So what is this quadruple? I am going to just mark it. So we can see it's one, two, three, four, because I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now there's no one down here. There's no two here because of the two. And there's no three or four here. And in fact, what I can do is I can see that this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, but three and four is also here. So these are all one, two, three, four, but the three, four here means that this is the one, two, but I have to put the one in here. This can't be the one. So that's the two, that's the one, and these two cells, which I can clear and mark as a three, four. Those must be a three, four, but this is a three, four, this is a three, four, so this now has to be a two. These now is a triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are from three, four, five, and 
I'm not sure what to do with that yet. But I've made some significant progress, I think. The two now looks back, making that the nine and that the two. This is a pair because, again, I can't use the three or the eight in any of them. So this is one, six, and the one is looking across, making that the six and that the one. Um, and that is something. So this is now a pair. I haven't placed two or three in the column. So this is a triple because I've placed six digits in both the column and I can't use two or three in any of them. So I would normally mark my triples, one, four, and nine. Now this can't be a nine, but the one and the four aren't really doing anything for me yet. So let's see what else we can find. So five and five means five is in one of those two. Six and six means six in this box is in one of those two. I can see four is in one of those. Ah, this is a pair because I've got a three, four pair looking in. It's the same as what I have here. So these are one, they're not two, three, four, five, uh, they're not five, five, six, seven, eight. So these are one and nine, and the one is looking up, making that the nine and that the one, and this is now a triple. I've got one, two, three, four, so five. I've got a six, seven, and eight, and I've got a nine. So these are five, seven, and eight. There's no seven there because of the seven looking up, and the five looking up makes this the eight, and I can make this a five, seven pair. Not sure how to resolve that yet, but now I've got a triple in column five, and I always like to mark my triples. One, four, and nine by the look of it. Yeah, it seems to be one, four, nine, doesn't it? Now this can't be a one. So one is in one of those two, which makes sense with the ones looking in the box. And not sure. Okay, two, is it here? Because these are one, two, three, four, five. So I can see one is in one of those. Two is in one of those. In fact, this is a three, four, five triple. And I, because of the column, and I can see five can't go here. These are one, two, three, four. That actually might have been very important from the start because there's a naked quadruple here because one, two, and three are now looking at a cell that also sees five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's just a four, which means that's a one and I can take one and four out of those and these become two and three. Now I'm not sure how to resolve the two, three yet, but the one of course takes one out of both of those and that could do something useful. Yes, it does because what, these aren't four anymore. They're one and nine, which look down, making that the four, which makes that the three and takes three out of both of those. But the three looks back, making that the eight and that the three. The four looks across, making that the five and that the four. The five looks up, taking five out of there. So I removed a five corner mark. So I have to put the five in the other one. The three, four pair means this can't be a three or both of those would have to be four. And I can't repeat four in the box or the column. So that becomes the two. This is the one that hasn't been placed, making that the nine and that the one. The nine looks across, making that the four and that the nine. The four looks back making that the three and that the four. The three looks back making that the two and that the three. The two looks across making this the three and we're getting all sorts of restrictions. So five has to go in one of these two. In fact, let's just use the row. There's four cells that haven't been placed in the box, but in each of these rows, there's only two. So I can get this down to a pair, which are five and eight here, which I don't see how to resolve, but these are six and nine, and I can use the nine to resolve that. That becomes the six, that becomes the nine. The six looks up and removes a corner pencil mark for a six, so I can write it in the other one, and this gives me a triple, which is two, seven, and eight, and I've got a two and an eight already in row six. So that becomes the seven, and I can remove the sevens. The seven looks up, making that the five, which makes that the seven. The five looks down, making that the eight, and that the five. The eight looks up, making that the two, and that the eight. And the three, four, I can resolve with either the three or the four that is already in the column, making that the four, and that the three. And I did that one in seven minutes, 46. And that was worth more points than the previous one, which I took over 20 minutes on. So I don't know. I actually did okay on that one, I think. Um, I don't know why. Um, the previous one I seemed to struggle on. I thought this one would be harder for me, and it wasn't. Sometimes you just don't click with a puzzle, but I got that one.
Hopefully you did as well. Um, my goal here is to bring you puzzles that you enjoy. Um, the goal here is for me to bring puzzles that I enjoy, but sometimes I come across ones that I struggle with, and that's always a bit challenging. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Please leave comments below as whether you think this is a good idea. And as always, good luck with your solving.